Was ist das Ja, aber. Ja. Ja, I was so nervous uh, in doing this conversation. <laughs> you know. So what's, what's generally happened in some of the past conversations I've had is a lot of people get nervous when they come here. Because what I'm gonna ask these really difficult political and business questions. And I think you're the first guest where I was nervous about how our conversation is going to flow because of number one, the work you do. Mm -hmm. And number two, um, my own biases and prejudices. Because I, I, I don't want in our conversation to come across as if I'm judging. Oh, okay. uh, but at the same time, I do want to bring that angle because a lot of people judge you. We live in that type of country. So more than <laughs> anything, welcome to the panel show, Unjani. Yeah, well, can get uh, Where's home? Where do you come from? Um, I think a lot of people would like to know that. And what's your family background? Like? Um, yes. Yes. Why did I think you were closer? I don't know. Maybe it's because of my name. Because Baningo Olsile, by my class. Olsile Mfega. Yes. What's a Pine Town? Yebu. Jeez, I've got kids in Pine Town. Oh. Jeez, okay, I'm going to Mkaya because I'm not from there. But small world. Yeah. Okay, and your family background and upbringing? Um, kuleso koko no mkul no no ma here and there because of my seven are yeah, but be figure here here and there. But in kuleso uma no koko no mkul. So even at high school, been going for Mandy, if you got Because of Ukok. Yeah, and yeah. The Santa and those things. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then from high school, we probably just need to fast track to what you do now because <laughs> people probably want to speak about that. But I'm fascinated about, uh, you said your mom was working, your dad. Uh, I don't know my biological dad. I only know my dad, law, my stepdad. Why? Why don't you know your biological dad? Our ballet was icon. Really? <laughs> yes. And your mom has got no stories about him. You've never tried to find him. I tried to to, to find him, but again, my dad was a taxi driver. So, mm. yeah, I was taxi driver. I just got baby mover from one space to another, sure. so I can't. Do you know okay. his surname, his name? I'm not asking you to say it now, but do you know who yeah, he is? Yeah, yeah, it's almost like, yeah. yeah. And, and you've never thought of trying to, not even him, just his family. I know. I'm, I'm not interested. I think I'm content with where I am now. Okay. Yeah. And then let's say one day you have kids and they want to know about Mkulu or Mkulu's family. Ah, that's the thing about kids. I, I don't want to have kids. Why not? I don't like kids. You I, don't like kids? I like them, but not to have them. Yeah, well. Okay. Yeah. And you think you're fine? I'm fine. <laughs> so we so we we live in this world, right? Yeah. With Tanduk Chachabantu. Yes. And when Ingan is expelled at school, when kids commit crimes, they normally mm -hmm. like we want to find out your family background. It's probably because your dad wasn't around. Uh, it's because my mom used to beat me up. Mm -hmm. So normally a lady like yourself, um, who's in the sex industry, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people would assume daddy issues. Oh, I don't know my part. Ah, obvious. That's uh, why she obvious. did this. Ah. Of, so that's why I'm asking from your perspective, you believe you're fine. You believe you were fine growing up. And maybe the last bit is, my mom didn't grow up with her mother. Her mother would visit like, mm -hmm. and as old as my mom is now in her 60s, she has this thing with her mom, which is like, I wish my mom loved me more and was more present. You don't have that. No, I with don't your have mom. that. I don't have that. My, me and my mom, we didn't have a relationship because she was working all the time. Did she stay at home with you guys? Yeah. Okay. But to, now I understand with Bessie Benz. So I don't have that with my mom. My mm. mom is my best friend. Mind you, she asks what to do. When, when did she have you? Do you know? Mm? When did she have you? At what age? Uh, she had me at 15. When she Jeez. Was yes. So she's like an older sister. Yeah. And you guys have had that relationship? Yes. Nobody will be so cocky, mom. 
I, yes. I know those vibes. Maybe in Kumbuza, maybe in Kumbuza, my aunts and everyone. But hey, when we go to Kumbuza, so Kumbuza, yes. ever so it was that case. Okay. Yeah. What does your mom do now? Does she work? Yeah, she works. Okay. She's a receptionist. And you've never thought of working in the space she works in? I. Because I think the the things I've heard <laughs> about you is you seem to have always wanted to be in entertainment. Mm, I've always wanted to be an actress, yeah. you know, act, be a singer. But then I made peace with Angie Guazukula. So <laughs> <laughs> that's a cut. Let's go. Let's go into acting. I've um I've tried presenting. Yeah. I have my auditions, but I. When did you leave <laughs> Pineton and did you come straight to Joburg or did you start somewhere else? No, I left uh, Pineton. I think it was 2020, if not 2021. Yeah. Yeah. I looked for a place, property 24. And I'd say, yeah, yeah, I need to move. After I've made some serious bank on OnlyFans, I'm like, you, you started Use Pineton? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Esa Konukoko? Yes. <laughs> your mom had you at 15 you've never okay my first question was going to be you don't have siblings and you've never thought I, of I, I do I do have siblings yeah yeah how many I'm the first born two about three again yes about three okay so. your, your siblings you guys get along yeah we get about along judge? Yeah, yeah my brother is cool and he's 21 how do you know they don't judge you I, got, I asked this for a reason. I, I, how's so it? I've got a younger sister, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Penrose. So Penrose was a tomboy uh, for most of her life. And then she came to varsity and she was a tomboy for two years. And then she started changing into a girl okay. and a woman. And now if you go to her Instagram, she dresses up, makeup, yeah. eyelashes, what, what. So... <laughs> Whatever people would call like a slay queen visual, mm -hmm. some people mm -hmm. are like, hey, you say slay. And I'm like, no, she dresses up and whatever. And me and my brother, because she's got two older brothers. Yes. Uh, at some point, we were a bit like, and I think even to this day, sometimes we're like, because I need to knock on the in day, visa, my nipples. Yeah, boy. Why are you naked? Uh, so we do that. Okay. Your siblings mm -hmm. have never judged you or I think, they keep I it think to themselves. maybe they keep it to themselves because now I'm the eldest oh. I mean. yes, man. Like <laughs> let them know <laughs> yeah but it says well and you have a great relationship 21 brother yeah 21 then, Swami, she's 12 12 yeah um she knows the work that you do I know you I don't, don't want her to know no eventually she'll find out but but you can be the one to tell her I think she's too young. <laughs> she's too young. Yeah, for that information. Because now I'm in color pants, I need to be specific. Okay. Um, this, the age of consent, Lime Zanzi, is 12. I don't know if you know. So children as young as 12 can start having sex with each other. Uh, up to an up to three years, I think. So if you're 12, you can have sex with a 15-year-old. But then um, open gates is 16. So from 16, you can have sex with a 90-year-old. And I'd like to hear your thoughts. If you're saying Usiswaka at 12 is too young to learn about, whereas he call or with sex education and they believe kids should be taught at that age, what do you think is the right age to be teaching kids about sex, maybe sex work and the like? I, that's a, a very tense uh, situation because I don't see my sister like that. Yeah. Ever. This is what I do. This is why I do it. Sure. Yeah, but because you don't want to expose and to certain things unless be be mature or be cool and then I guess there's never a right age. Yeah, but. But what would it be based on? Like if your let's say your younger sister starts saying yo, would you then maybe say okay, maybe she's 14, 16. Would you be like, hey, you cut about fun, and then maybe start the conversation? Yeah, and it's not sure I'm because she, she, she has male besties. Okay. Yeah, well. She's a girl. She's yeah. a young girl, yeah. so yeah. it's whatever. So it's whatever. I don't take it to that level. I got a fig lap for me personally. 
I haven't seen signs. I haven't seen signs. I haven't seen signs. I haven't seen signs. I think for parents, it's that. 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 I think for they look for a sign. And the old school <laughs> ones, the sign is normally Amabele. Yeah. And then all they do is they scare you. Kata bafano zo kula, zo preka. Yeah, mutlala no mfano, pegele, ya bonje, usibu mfano. Sure. Yeah. Uh, have you ever spoken to your mom about how she had you? Your sister's 12, your mom mm. had you at 15, which mm. is like three years later. Have you ever spoken to your mom about how you came about and those things? Yeah, she just dated this guy. Um, I'm Tandai. They dated for a year, I suppose. Yeah. Obviously, my dad was older than Uma. Sure. But uh, uh, my dad was probably 19. Yeah, well. Today, you know, that's called statutory rape. Mm. Do you agree? Yes. I know I'm asking unfair questions because they're like legal, but I'm just asking your opinion. Because legally, what your dad did if he was 19 mm. and mom was 15 is illegal. But if at the so I'm asking, how do you feel about things like that? I, I feel so, some type of way because if it was my child, I wouldn't. Yeah, you know, I would feel some type of way. And I mean, at 15, ten, I no, no, I mean, I'll call it two baba on a 19. Sure. Yeah, but regardless of how she feels that yeah. time, because either way, she doesn't know any better. Sure. Yeah, well, so I think it's wrong. Yeah, well, okay. Because in any sense, I mean, at fifteen, I I didn't know any better. Sure. Yeah, well, so it's like you get any in any sense of matter, but still, in any missy coolie, it's like hey, you could have. Sure. Yeah, well, could have. Uh, uh, un un fundi suguti. I shouldn't do this. U kunisi to lunanan. Oh, kunisi sang. Yeah, well, because you can't just let kids do whatever the fuck they want. I sure. Mean, like. Mm -mm. Are you comfortable speaking about how old you were when you broke your virginity? Oh yeah, I was 19. Do you think you were old enough and ready? Yeah. Um, do you, you started at 19, which you feel was right, but if you'd started earlier, or even at 19, do, do you wish you had been educated on sex before? And do you no. think it would have changed how you approach sex, even from 19? No, I, I was educated about sex at school, ekaya, but then ekaya, bo uchelo vagut. Hey, wakala walala ge manch. Yeah. So meter. Of course. Easy nga pupa. Oh yeah, bo. So sure. bafana baso kukisa, bafana this and that, this and that. But I mean, I I was in love, so I was just like, hey, this is my person for the rest of my life. Let's go. Sure. Yeah, bo. You enjoyed your first time? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, do you enjoy sex generally? I I love sex. Really? Yeah. Do you think it's abnormal? Abnormal to how much you love it? Do you think most people do? No, I think it's fair. <laughs> okay. So you don't think it's, you don't think you're a nymphomaniac, addicted to sex? No, I don't think I'm addicted to sex. Okay. At all. I got jumpies and jingle and Okay. So you're in Pine Town. How old are you when you start OnlyFans? Uh and for how long are you in OnlyFans before you decide, I think it's time for me to leave the nest and go somewhere else? Yo, Angsa Kumbole. 2021, how old I was? Angsa Kumbole. 2021 is two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Sure. I was 20... In fact, I was in Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but two years ago, you were still in Pine Town. Yeah. Okay. Three and years that's ago. when you and started. Be, be, Bengizala, Bengizala, and Angizo to audition for uh, acting gigs here and then, pending the week. Yeah, bro. So I was Gakala 2020 November, OnlyFans, uh, few months. I think the following year, 2021, I was like, no, let me go to Joburg. Yeah, bro. Sure. Go to Salako and then just explore selling it. I've always wanted to stay alone. Hi, bro. Um, Were you making money though? Yeah, I was making money. How long did it take you to make money for you to jump from when you joined? I know for me, I was like, it, it was four months. Four months? Yeah. And you were making enough to be like, I'm uh, ready to pay rent. Hey, 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 hey. What about you? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. 
ngakhula manje i want to yeah. explore the world and imsebenzi kuthi mningi ngaliso i want to i want to go and we've always been taught to be scared of e e e goli gavelinga so it's like eh goli lizo gwinya yes and ya gwinya of course <laughs> so that was the case but then me na i've explored e goli veling hambang boy and hambang boy so i was just like ah there's nothing to be scared of i call why joburg and not durban because durban is 20 something kilometers from pine town ah uh, out of town Okay. Yeah, I I needed to breathe. Okay. Yeah, well, so it's just like ish. And I, I feel like na corner uh lending in Zayo. Uh people in Durban um are not as open-minded as, you know, e e lo la e cool. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that's the the kind of atmosphere I felt like which means say cool, I feel comfortable. Yeah. Into saying, yo, I do only fans. Yeah. So it's like oh really how many subscribers do you have how much money have you made sure. so I wanted to be uh, at a space where I could just be myself and relax yeah yeah boy and breathe you sound strict I sound strict. Mm. Uthi nje ukugogo nomkhulu ngabatshethe hey mina ngiyiguli. Are you strict? Are you chilled? I know. I think I'm chilled. You're not strict. I know. I don't think so. Are you a mother to your sister? I think I'm a big sister. Not I, a I'm mother. A, uh, not a mother. Okay. Umanje ngimnezi indawo yakhe bo. Sure. Ukuthi ayidlale. I pela sokho umthwalo ukubo mama. No ways. Why why don't you want children? I don't want children because I think Mina as the the, the first born yeah, but I've always been you know taking care of stuff la baba landilai imino katayo yabo I'm just tired of looking after kids yeah, but, and do koko be no cutting ani yabo here and there so nam ngimdala I was going to say I think you're young you don't think you'll change I can't say I don't think I'll change yeah. but nje for now I in safo na njoke enjoy my nje okay. space and you've only been in Joburg for two years so I hope you change by the way you know why <laughs> the little bit that I'm hearing at least in my opinion you sound responsible you sound level headed the fact that you were responsible for your younger siblings means you have a sense of responsibility yeah and we have a lot of mothers that hate children have no time for responsibility um and don't even bother those women are not supposed to have kids and when about you are eight <laughs> you know so when i meet women who sound more responsible and more open mm. and more open minded i think the next generation of kids needs parents like that so hopefully you'll consider i one day is one day <laughs> what were you doing on only fans when you started to what you're doing now Or rather let's uh, let's start here for people that don't know. Yeah. What what is OnlyFans? OnlyFans is a site where you just post your content people subscribe on there to see your content. Okay. Yeah, well. well I've they, never I've never been there. Is it like an Instagram? Is it like a YouTube? No, uh, uh, it's, it's completely um, different. Uh, it's I can't say it's completely different because you just before you see um the content that's being there. Sure. You subscribe to okay. actually see it. But is it set up like Instagram where you swipe and see pictures or yes, do you subscribe yes, and then yes. click? Yes, yes, yes. It's it's like that. It's like Instagram. Yes. Pictures, see, videos. Videos, everything. Okay. So when DMs. you started? Also, when I started, be- because I was more uh, being fit like a cool, I was sure. just like showing a belly, showing my ass. Look, my belly was actually not even meant to be a bad thing. Exactly. You know what I mean? It's not a Amabele are out there. Yeah, well. So, so even before that, Bang Veling Tata uh, pictures for Instagram, get going lingerie, sure. bikini, and and but now, this girl was saying, hey, you have to show La Payana, and 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 so I was like, hey, let's see, let's 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 try let's try sure. it, let's try it, let's try it, let's smoke it together. You weren't scared. No, I wasn't nervous. scared because I thought what happens on OnlyFans stays on OnlyFans. Nah. <laughs> sure, of course. I'm put up on the internet. I thought everything stays there. Sure. I can die. <laughs> And then people started you can screen shot the screen grab. Yeah. 
and then uthume lo koko bukani uxolwe nzani upi zinamabele la anibhekeni is that what happened yeah no actually what happened was I think I had like two weeks in sure. after being verified. Two weeks, three weeks, and then I started promoting my OnlyFans yeah. on Twitter and on Instagram. Yeah. Because when I was very prior, like I want to start an OnlyFans, people were just hyping me up. Hey, 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 hey. We'll definitely subscribe. Were people telling you to join OnlyFans? Yeah. Because of the lingerie stuff you're posting Yeah, on they were like, oh no, we'll definitely subscribe. I'm like, ah, okay. Sure. Yeah, but let's, let's go, let's see. Sure. I, then I started posting, posting. I felt like, because my subscription was $30. Okay. $30? Yo, that's a lot of money. Yeah. 30 to 18 now. Now mind, it's 30. Uh, it's 20. It's gone no, down? It's, no, it, it's 20. And then I be sell out. This is how date demand. So it's currently 540 per month. Yeah. It's like DSTV compact. Yes, man. Premium. <laughs> Premium. Me look up my mama. Take it to fifty dollars. Okay, sorry, I'm listening. Yeah. So got galaga and and then people were just like, now I had people complaining about uh thirty dollars. Which uh, is too much. Hi, well, no, we just would see me. What the fuck? <laughs> Hi, boo. You're not even fucking on the how? Uh, Hi, boo. I mean, I'm just like, yeah, but I just got here. Relax. Sure. Yeah, well. And this is the people on OnlyFans or people that you're marketing oh, to on online, Twitter? online. Okay. Online on Twitter. I, And then this guy came through and said, hey, I'll leak this shit. I'm just like, yeah, leak? Mm. <laughs> leak? What's he in mind? And then I, I didn't take it seriously until <laughs> I saw... I'm going to search. 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 Hey, man. Hey. So they started posting your stuff on Twitter because Twitter oh, allows me. porn. Insta, yeah. Facebook, YouTube doesn't. And then I'm just like, yeah. Come on, I learned it to you, 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 you. And people what, on tuga? Facebook, Katuga, okay. blind, blind. I look too, I look good. Katuga to the extent where I'm just like, yo, ying pu minling. What if people just, yeah, but so bad, Kalabang, Buga, Manjabat, ah, boni, they don't know. Sure. What were you scared of? About Bazotin. No, I, it, it was just like I never pictured um, people on the streets about yeah. knowing what I do. I don't sure. know. I was so delusional. I understand. Okay. Yeah, I was just I like, hey, nah, email, nah, inter- log- inter- let's go. And it's sub- subscription, it's private. Yeah. No one has I'm to like, know. I'm like, let's go. 100%. Only fans, only fans. Yeah, but well, facts. So, ah, now it's on Twitter. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah. That's a fuck. And I haven't even made a withdrawal. Sure. So, email me, but I haven't made a withdrawal. Lendo, what if it's game? She's just saying exposed, Kanji. Jehovah, Jehovah. <laughs> but I got over it sure. after I made my my first withdrawal. Let's go. On you know? on Twitter when they leaked, did that increase your subscriber base on OnlyFans? Exactly. So that's it the funny th- that's the funny part. It's like promo, free promo. Sure. Yeah, Bang in a fan, bang in a 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 did you start promoting yourself on Twitter, realizing that it works? Yeah. Okay. I sing a clinic, man. Sing a clinic on my Twitter page. It's bumping. Jeez. <laughs> Sneak peek, DM for more. Yeah. You're one of those ladies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, if you want more, come to. You know yeah, what I do that on OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah, and get teaser on the timeline on Twitter, and then you just have to subscribe. Okay. Yeah, but if you want more, I babu zongjela go OnlyFans, not on the DMs on social sure. media, bro. You started so. with breasts, ass. I. And then you went <laughs> harder. <laughs> Jeez, for OnlyFans making videos. Yeah. This was still while you in Pine Town. Yeah. Okay. I did a lot in Kalikai because I had like people asking me for custom videos. Yeah, well. Individual. Yeah, individual. On Where you d- say, hey, Pen, this is for you. Yeah. Okay. People say, hey, Ngela, ooh, can you please walk around naked or sure. in front of the camera and then send it to me. Yeah. yeah well. And then they pay. Sure. And you didn't mind that? You weren't scared for your safety and perverts and dodgy people? No. 
Or you never I thought think, about it? No, I think, you know, when you've tried so many things and it doesn't work out, you yeah. get into a space where you just like, let me uh, take this route about sure. and see if it works. I have nothing to lose, really, yeah. you know? So I'm like, and then it works. And then you're like, hey, fuck everyone. Hey, sick. I gotta eat. What the fuck? <laughs> you, remind, you remind me of the, the Forex and crypto guys. <laughs> because the Forex and the crypto for a lot of people sounds like a scam. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are fucking mad. But you find some guys who are like, I tried it. Mm -hmm. I it made worked. 5 million. I was like, I'm never turning back. And I guess this worked for you. Yeah, it, it's still working for me. So I bag it. Whatever. Do, you, do you enjoy your work? Yeah, I love it. At which point do you move from tits ass to full on <laughs> vagina and starting to do things to yourself on camera <laughs> people were, were like you, were you nervous when you started going harder no I, yes i was nervous i was okay. nervous at failing <laughs> which i'm gonna do it wrong but i <laughs> I, I, was, <laughs> I, I was never said that like yo okay. what if I'm trying this and it just like fails I don't get the views I don't get the money sure go by mess you know and it's some sort it's just like yo I can't fail it porn like yeah shit no ways sure you know ah, and then I tried uh, I tried shooting porn had you been watching other people's stuff to practice? Yeah. <laughs> My angles. So now when I get to the to, to the guy actually who's gonna shoot me, ne? Sure. Finding him jagged and call my angles then then sure. and number five I I buy buy book a very poor and every now and then. You know everything. You know everything. Ah, you know, eh, like I You came at the right at the right place. Sure. So show my angles. You weren't scared of working with guys filming you instead of like filming yourself? No, I wasn't. Why not? I, I don't know. I just, I'm sad. But you know, I feel like if I'm comfortable yeah. now we're at a room, yeah. I, I have no reason to be scared of. Because if that was the case, mm. I wouldn't be there, right there with you. Sure. Ever. If I felt some type of way, good, ah, this guy, ah, yeah. this one. Mm. Have you ever been scared of boys? Not really, eh? Were you ever a tomboy? Yes, I was at okay. primary. So, you have fun with your colleagues? I was I wanted to ask a question, but I know YouTube doesn't like these questions, man. <laughs> but we'll try and keep it clean uh, as far as possible. Your your thoughts around, I'm, I'm a transgender, without getting too deep. Considering what you were doing when you were young, mm. someone could have been like, oh, then... And the sex change, you fine. How do you feel about those things? No, I feel like uh, people can do whatever the fuck they want. Sure. Yeah, because now me, I'm doing whatever the fuck I want. Sure. As much as I'm being judged, yeah, but yeah, uh, I'm at peace. I'm content with what I do. Sure. Yeah, but I'm happy. Yeah. You know what I'm doing. So if that makes you feel good about yourself, whatever. Sure. What do I have to say? Yeah, Some but. of these people they watch you as a child and they're like, maybe you should because, and you're like, no, I just intend to polish. Yeah, doesn't necessarily it mean, doesn't mean good to imagine for no good bomb cheat and then okay get yeah, right. Then the jump, okay. Number one, you join OnlyFans because people have been telling you from Instagram. Yeah. Like, say go harder. You go harder on OnlyFans. Within four months, you're making money. How long does it take you from then to what you're saying now, where you're asking Amachita, please come full me, full naked, doing uh, things to myself? No, I was actually. Um, because I was doing OnlyFans, I was approached uh, by this guy, I won't say his name. Mm. Uh, I was approached by this guy. I mean, Chikum Simmons, like, like he, he wanted to shoot. He was okay. like, if you want to shoot uh, OnlyFans content, because being shooting a phone. Sure. Yeah, but most of my content was with a, a, a phone. and yeah. So it's like, uh, if you want to like uh, take pictures, videos, and then and mm. I'm like, oh, when I still still so I call myself now, we can shoot that. Sure. Yeah, well. And then uh, I gave him my numbers and started talking. And I said, La -la -la, I wanted to, do you know anything about how I can sell actual porn? I know yeah. I can sell it on OnlyFans, but if you fan base, it's a good. Yeah, well. sure. So it was like, no, try X videos and porn. Have none. And I said, yo. Hey, that's serious porn, Moss. 
Mengi singi si. Ay man, ay pele la wal ba sa ba la. Yeah, porn is serious. <laughs> X videos porn hub. Mm, that's ah 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 ah. I'm not looking into that. Sure. So he was like, eh, hey, man, just look who shy man is. I go to go be in. Now I'm thinking my OnlyFans subscribers were looking into that. Sure. So because I I kept saying, I know, kulega and relaxa and some niggas are dancing, some niggas are dancing. No 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 no. I'm like, eh. Man, okay, fine. Let's say shoes are into ba um cheating so eh into shoes are not. Yeah, and then I asked one of my friends. Say no. Before you speak about that, I want to know from tits and ass to showing vagina. Oh, how long did VJ. that take? Yeah, I know two months. So you four months in, and mm-hmm. then two months later, you're like, no, I'm going harder. Yeah. And then from that Ins- point where you're starting to show vagina. Yeah. How long Ins- does it take you to decide? Look. Because I guess this is when this guy comes in. Would look yeah. maybe try go full on eight months. That's as you were moving. Hi, guess I joined. There's no time. Again. There's no time to sleep because you'd have guys who ask you for guma custom videos like I take Sure. Who'd ask to see your vagina sure. for twenty dollars? Like, hey. I think it's just skeptical. We have never sure. seen it on timeline. And very so sure. they're like, hey, how about forty dollars? That's okay, cool. Yes, yes, and you hit. I, I'd say, me some galu go ifa go some line shoot. I, he malit. That's I okay. I think bang nisha because sometimes when you hold on to something or you don't do a set, certain content, yeah. they become curious. Now of they want to pay more to sure. see. Then ganja lo ganja. Then but, come on. Kanji, kanji, kanji. Funa angi mi. Come to use it. Yeah. So yeah. So this guy comes. He says, "Look, try X videos porn." I'll be like, "I'm not sure about this." He's like, "Try it," and you're like, "Okay, let's research." And after eight months, your question is, "Who am I gonna do this with?" And then, please carry on with the story from there. Yeah. And then I approached a guy, such a shoot, and then he was like, "Oh, cool." Yeah. I'd want to see myself in a, a in a porn video. Let's go. Where do you where do you find this guy? So this other guy approached you from OnlyFans? No, 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 no. He didn't. Oh, um, fine, I'm and I. The the one you ended up working with. Yeah. But the one that was taking being shoot, being that's shoot. someone who's been doing OnlyFans work. No, that's someone who's been shooting commercial work. Okay. Yeah. Well, and they, but they approached you. Yeah. Via other Inst- social media yeah, platforms Instagram. and said look i want to work with you mm. and you're like sure yeah you guys were chatting uh, physically or online no we were chatting met? online doing video calls nan nan sure yeah very smart guy in that as in and you had a portfolio yeah so i'm tem i'm tem okay. i am le let's go and then you find another guy who you want to start working with mm-hmm. how do you how do you you said he was your friend yeah not Good. friend, friend. It was just a guy that I knew. Okay. Yeah, but on a tenant number, so I'm like, hey, what, what, what do you have to lose? Sure. I come to the hey. Nga sa as the same. So. I just nga sa mo do ang le. Not the one. Jeez. So let's go. I say no. I wear a mask. Sure. That's okay. Cool. Let's go. You guys had never had sex before. Mm. The first time you had sex was on camera. Kabang. How was that? Like. Mentally, okay. Now you you you're a performer. Mm. I mean, if you look at people like Abu Halle Berry, she's shown her breasts on camera. I think Monsters Ball, Monster Ball is the name of the movie. Yeah. But you've been performing in front of people. You've yeah. just maybe never been. Mm-hmm. You've been performing, but you've never Performed interacted with someone. someone. Yeah, it's not that deep. Yes. Okay. It's just an environment. Gazwana ini, you know, Gazwana ini. Sure. Yeah. Well, and then we have this camera dude like who's willing to just work with our, with whatever we're comfortable with. Sure. Yeah, but safe, uh, understanding environment. This wasn't like, in Pine Town. Nah. At Pine Town, at which level of the game? <laughs> was it still tits and ass or? Um, uh, it was still tits, tits and ass. And you made enough money, which okay. Yeah. I'm gonna go show everything, man. Yeah. Cool. Cause for me it was uh, like. If you make so much money uh, showing tits and ass and just walking around yeah. half naked, sure. how much more can you make? Sure. So I was like, ah, I ain't get safe most. Okay. Yeah. And afterwards, there were feelings, catching feelings? With the guy I was working with? Yeah. I know. 
I got to Joburg in 2008. So I'm from a Newcastle in KZN. Mm. Then I went to Grahamstown Air Roads to do my undergrad in the Eastern Cape. I came to Joburg in 2008 uh, to do my honors in accounting AUJ. And I joined an agency at the time to do commercials. Yeah. And one of the first gigs I got was for Love Life. I asked them as a Love Life. They were doing AIDS, oh, HIV, yeah, 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 and guys. And in that commercial, I had to kiss a girl. And I had a girlfriend at the time. And I spoke to my girlfriend about it. She was like, look, it's work. It's fine. I'm like, okay. Uh, on camera, when we were shooting, I think we had to kiss 26 times. 26 <laughs> takes. Right? <laughs> so it's action and kiss. Yes. And you kiss. And then and cut. Afterwards, this girl wanted my number and she kept, hey, hey can we hook up? Hi, What's up? Boo. What are you? So I, I'd only assume that something as intimate as sex, she does like, ah, Pella, switch it on camera. No, it wasn't that deep. Why not? Is it, he's different? Is he professional? Are you both professional? Why would you guys not catch feelings? Why would we? <laughs> You guys have like an intimate work, bosses, work relationship. Bosses, bosses end up marrying their secretaries. You know what I mean? It's never that. Sure. Yeah, it's never that. It's just like, hey, do you want to shoot? Sure. Uh, look, this is what I want us to shoot. This will be better, blah, blah, blah. Are you guys yeah. not attracted to each other, you think? Or maybe you are, but you just don't act on it. No, he is attractive, but I think Nakone finds me attractive. That's sure. why he agreed to Yabo. Yeah, but we don't want Uguti to figure up. We didn't want that. Nisa Sevens and Amanj? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Um, how many guys have you worked with on screen? Uh, three. Three? Yes. And you're planning to do more? Yeah. Why? So, Urich, Urich, you know, broke the tailor. <laughs> And they circulate around that for years. So sometimes you can just circulate around the same one, two guys. Why no. would you want to go further? No, because I, I I want to explore. Okay. Yeah, well, I just want to explore different sex with different people on camera. On camera. Um, see what works, see what doesn't. Sure. Yeah, well, especially other content creators, Nakon. Yeah. yeah well. do, you, do you follow people on OnlyFans? Do uh, you subscribe to other people's channels? Yeah. For just because you're a fan or because you're trying to learn and research? No, I mean, uh, it's always about learning. Okay. Like learning the game. It's okay. Okay. Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me try this. Sure. Yeah, well. um, do you have uh, friends yeah, in I the do. industry where you guys chat and share tips and friend, try this out? And maybe there's new platforms. They're like, try this. Because yeah. I know in the space we're in. So I'm a YouTuber now. But you have people saying, look, it's TikTok, it's is is Okoka, do shorts, try this platform, me rumble. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out, do you guys have something similar where you're like, hey girl, try this out, <laughs> maybe refer customers <laughs> to each other. Yes, we do that a lot. Okay. Yeah. Niazwan and Ikrend. Say right. Okay. Sometimes if like we have uh, a big tipper. Sure. Like, yeah. then you take a screenshot, like, hey, um, pay attention to that guy. So, subscribe, be there, and, sure. nagi, and that's a fucking big tick. Okay. So, like, oh, okay, cool. Thanks for the heads up. Jeez, that's yeah. dope. Yeah, that's dope. Do you enjoy having sex on camera? Yeah, I love it. Why? Is it, is it, <laughs> is it better than having sex off camera? Because uh, it, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine it feels like work. Yeah, I get to more than daytime. You have, you have that to scream louder. <laughs> and melu menge engel. Yeah, sometimes, but. <laughs> Manje mo shanti ane pe la gumna. Manje it's like no cut, no unpack, no cut. Awu chigi su ibe yise anje. Kobe sitko. Me me zaga kulu. Yeah, sometimes you, you get into your zone. Yeah, bo. So, mm. Mm, so I bo walala manje. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, sure. It is work, but I enjoy it. Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I do. I think I enjoy the the, the after work about missing bona how everything. Yeah. Because me and Guru Mundulo, Mr. Tama takes a shooter. Yeah. Bone you into, watch. Yeah, like, oh, okay. But you still enjoy it? Yeah. You think so? I've acted a couple of times on screen. Mm -hmm. You know, I was a featured extra on a few things. And obviously, we make content now when you speak to camera. And 
I've I've studied a lot of the actors in the past and people that work, and I look at how they work, and I try to be professional. We can laugh now, <laughs> yeah, and then cut, and then ooh. <laughs> so so I sometimes wonder how genuine things are. And look, I'm a guy, mm-hmm. like other guys. I have watched porn in the past, yeah. and you look at some of these girls that stare at the camera and tease the camera, and when the guy is doing his thing, she's screaming, and you like I. When they say cut, I don't know if she's actually enjoying it. She's like, you know what? <laughs> Hey, Milling Yolan and it's calling so yeah, I'll, I'll think perform and then in hand. Honestly, I mean I enjoy working. Sometimes it is it, it is like that. Mechanical. In, 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 like, okay, lights, camera, about action. Sure. You have to be in that space, so good tie. Zakala man, you have to sure. look sexy, you have to be a certain person. Even if you're not feeling great. Yeah. Okay. Open. We have missile home sense. Would you like would you like to because I don't know currently. So the most popular, I don't know if you'd call her a sex worker per se, uh, is Uzoto Abantu. So I know she's a dancer. I know she dances naked. I think she doesn't wear panties. Yeah. Um, I haven't tracked her story to detail, so I don't know if she sleeps with guys for money. And I don't know if she's on an OnlyFans, but I know she's famous. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out, would you want to be potentially the most popular? Are you a porn star? Yeah. Would you want to be the most popular porn star in South Africa on the continent? No, I want to be the most paid. Not necessarily uh, the most popular. Yeah. Popular. So it's all about pay. money. Yeah. Is it all about money? All about money. Yes. Yeah. I started this because I wanted to. Just Is it eat. all about money? All about money, Ganyan. So I'm like that, you mind. If someone, if someone, <laughs> if you meet a guy, mm. falls in love with you. Yo, Oli, I've been watching your videos. Yo, my heart. How much do you make? And then he's like, I will pay you to marry me and never do this ever again. Would you do it? Nah. Why not? That's why I'm asking, is it just about the money? If other opportunities came, now you're popular. Now you're famous. Your brand is popping. Mm. You tell we are Bimba. I was with Tula, but maybe we'll try rap. <laughs> like, oh boy, T. <laughs> now you become like a Cardi B. Yeah. Now you're rapping and you're making cash. And w- would you stop the work you're doing? No, you I mean, I'll stop. Elsewhere? I'll stop whatever I'm doing when I want to stop. Not because... So you enjoy it? Yeah. Not because, hey, figi luba for hey, hey. Sure. Yeah, well, so it's not game. just about the money. Yeah. I like what I'm doing. Yeah, well, so, so this goes back to my question. Would you want to be like the most popular? And you said, I want to get paid. Yeah, and that's what I was paid. asking. Is it just money? Or do you actually like, you know what, I wanna, I want other women in the industry to be like, yo man, shout out to Koli, she changed my life. <laughs> now I'm going to say Newcastle, my life was fucked <laughs> and I tried this thing and look, I'm making money now and I'm good. So thank you because you're professional. I, I, it's not just the money, which is great, but I like the way you carry yourself. I, I, I like how you work and other girls will try to do what you do but also Shulega, because you have a skill. Yeah, I Do have you a care certain, about things like that? Yeah, work ethic. Yeah? Yeah. Work ethic is very important. You can't just do ambulasek, ambulasek, ambulasek. You have to have a jing army. You have to have a team. Because as much as you can do yeah. so much by yourself, I you need a team to take care of other things. So sure. you can do so much. La okay. So you can't do everything. Your team has men and women? Uh-uh. It's, it's men. For Why? Now. Is it intentional or accidental? No, it's accidental. Okay. Like, I haven't found a, a woman who's good at what I'm not good at. Sure. Yeah, well. Have you found that men are professional in your space? Like, because a lot of people assume every guy you work with probably wants to smash you. But yeah, you th- might find Tamachita like, hey, cool, you a spa, ne? Yeah. Oh, it's ah, chilled. Ah, men around me are so professional. Yeah. Like I've never had a problem with a, a, a photograph or a videograph. It's sure. just like, can I spank? Can sure. I? Can, they don't do that. They don't do that. I, I, I can believe that. And a lot of guys are, are badly sold, especially in this country. And I can say, I'm actually a professional. Even if he wants to hit, he might keep it to himself. Yeah. <laughs> until some people are like, hey, what's up? Let's go for drinks. Like, yo, chance, I'm trying. <laughs> but um, I find a lot of guys are professional, and I, I appreciate that you're saying that. They are professional. And guys in Jiggy and King. Sure. At all. What do you do with your money besides paying um, your team? And how big is your team? Sorry. Maybe this uh, is a, a, a learning a, moment. Yeah. How big is your team? 
and and what do they do for you uh my team is is actually like my boyfriend uh, he team? takes care. Nope. Okay. He, he takes care of my OnlyFans. Yo, we must speak about him. Okay. Yeah, he takes care of my OnlyFans um, content. Baby girl creates content. I need content to sell. Sure. Ganjalo, Ganjalo. He manages your your channel or your page. In, in my pages. He responds to DMs and those things. Um. Yeah. Young Jalo would say, "Nangu guy would want to hectic." Exactly. Okay. So and then there's Umfundo. Long come usu peeps. If you need password, I'm on pinch. Sorry, please carry on. Sorry, we'll chat and about then, him. We'll chat about him. And then there's uh, Usno. Uh, he's a marketing agency. He takes care of my marketing online, etc., mm. etc. Et just putting my name out there. Does, then, does this mean you don't have to promote yourself on Twitter, or you still do those things? I, I still do those things. But I can say I want to else. take a route uh, to like club hosting, uh, get into a commercial space. Sure. Gang 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 gang. Takes care of that marketing and manager. Yes, okay. and then there's a umfundo, most likely like snow, but it takes care of gigs. Then then, okay, you know? that's your okay gigs manager. Yeah. I don't know what it's called. Okay, they so, manage yeah. your bookings. Mm. Make sure you're gonna be there. Umfundo sends invoices. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well. All right. So yeah, that's your team. Yeah, that's my team. Um, you don't include videographers and those things in your team. I film with this person. No, I film. film I, I film with uh, UKC, KC Waves, and then Aba. Yeah, just managing the film. No, no Is it Startobel? Yeah, Startobel. These are freelancers. Uh, no, I pay them. Like, okay. uh, like I have to pay so okay. so I can complain if I'm saying that. Of course. Up. Yeah. So yeah, those are the two photographers I work with now. Sure. And Dumalo Angel, who we are shooter like for Instagram. Sure. Yeah. Um, before we go to what you do with your money, so you've got a boyfriend. Yes. How, how's that for you and for him, and the fact that he's kind of involved in your work? I'm How long have you guys been together? It's been, it's been a year. Two Jeez. years. Okay. Two years, yeah. Two years. And he met you after you started your work. Yeah, he met me after. Which means he knew everything you were doing. Yeah. And he oh, was chilled. Oh, man, that's a guy, <laughs> He was a first subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> I've no, been there from the beginning. I met him out, outside of work. Yeah. Uh, we just saw and we liked each other. Sure. The rest was history. And he never asked you to stop or ah, change. Ah, yeah. Do you know Why? Why he did that? I don't know because does he come from a broken home? You know, maybe <laughs> no. he's a broken guy. I <laughs> right, these are the assumptions people make. Most of the time, don't you dare. Should you name Tom Bezinye somewhere? Uh, 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 no. Yeah. There's one, and we okay. just happen to to like each other so and you, much. And you don't worry about maybe some of the DMs that you get that he sees and it affecting your relationship. Yeah, I know. He's unique, right? Because mm. I'm guessing you've met a lot of men. Yeah, I have. And he's unique. You wouldn't work with him on camera? I know, he doesn't want to. But you would. You yeah, wouldn't mind. I mean, I was a baby. Sure. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know why he doesn't want to? I know. Ooh, I'm going to love cats, 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 cats. Oh, when am I say parrot? You say parrot. Yeah, I'm going to love cats. 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 Hey, I'm going to love cats. Hey, I'm going to love cats. Do you guys ever speak about your work with him? Um, about the sex you have with other people? Do you, do you guys... Do you guys have an intimate relationship in the sense that does he tell you his fears, his secrets, his dreams... Mm -hmm. generally and then maybe you guys speak about the intimate yeah whatever I, work he does we are complaining our complaints hey yeah i'm jealous of us and you know serious like a chill sure yeah it's cool i'm young including your work yes and the detail of your work no not the detail okay yeah because a relationship like that for some of us outside it's one of two things right it's either he's lying and at some point he's gonna raise what he I actually can't. I thought at some point you'd stop. <laughs> oh, this is Usofa Slashani. This is the guy who's like, the things that guys are scared of, my mm -hmm. woman being smashed by someone else, my woman does it and on camera. Mm -hmm. And I know it. So, Angin Dao. Because what else could he fear from this? 
Ah no, he's he's not intimidated like that. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's so dope. Yeah. Um, you get to smash guys at work. Mm-hmm. Is he allowed to smash? Because I don't know what work he does. Yeah, no, I know. I'm not know if I just have to know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why would Why would you agree? Nah, I mean, I'm king. But why? Because you know. we are sebens. You know, champa ga sebens. It's ah no. If he wants to taste some, um, you know, sure. let him have some. Oh, uh. Do you think it's because you do it? Um, maybe. Even though it's work. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, but what I'm never trying to ask interested. is, let's say if you stop the work you're doing, mm. maybe you tell him, "Hey, baby, I'm not saying you're mean." Now we're here. I, <laughs> no, I don't think I don't think I'm like that. You're no. open. Yeah, I'm open like that. Would you do polygamy? Uh, marriage. Yeah, let's start there. Actually, would you would you like to get married one day? Yeah, um, why not? Yeah, well, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, good. Cool, like, see, it's, like, it's, I, it's hey, not a high priority. It's uh, fun yeah, and money first. Yeah, good. Cool, like, see, I still want to travel. Yeah, sure. well, and then. Are you scared that marriage might tie you down? Do you think you want to change after you get married? No, I don't think I'd want to change. I think okay. I just want to. You know, s- there's some things you grow out of. Fair enough. Yeah, but. Maybe I'll grow out of some few things and then, but more especially, I mean, I mean, I want to, you know, explore stuff with them. I yeah. want to explore things with them. Yeah. If I want to travel, I say, I'm a baby, let's sure. go. I love to love. Yeah, well. Polygamy. Hey, hey. Would you be with a guy who's openly got, let's say, two other women? Two other women. Yeah. So it's not like your boyfriend now who has a license to do whatever. Mm. It's a man who's got two other wives and he's <laughs> saying, now we're going to I don't think so, right? You don't like sharing like that. Mm-mm. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm but don't. Ube nama. Yeah, but I'm just trying to do a polite another thing. So yeah. like, I feel like marriage is, is, is like that. Sure. Yeah, but for me, okay. you know, I want you all to myself. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. Let's go to to parties, you know. Yeah. Let's let's go to OGs as a couple. Have you ever done those things? Uh to, there's, to there's, there's something called swinging, I think. Where yeah, I've I've actually I've planned one of those. Okay. Yeah. And you were involved as well? No, I wasn't involved. You just hosted? Yeah, I just hosted. So swinging, as far as I know, is a couple who goes and finds maybe another couple where they swap couples. They swap each other's. Yeah, I think I saw that on some movie. It's so interesting. I would want to try that with my husband. Just to try it out? Yeah. Not as something to do as a regular. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, And then there's <laughs> orgies. Yes. And how do you feel about orgies? Have you tried them? Would you consider? No, I, I think I went to O just just to yeah, well, to take notes. And take men, notes. And men, sorry, guys, <laughs> to, okay. Take my notes. <laughs> sure. So I, I've been like that. Hey, let's let's see. Let's sure. see what I, what works, what doesn't work, sure. and then yeah, well, but uh, not for you. I'll do it for content. Okay. Yeah. Not if as something. It's, yeah. If it's on camera, let's go. If it's not, uh, I don't think it's something I like. It sounds like you enjoy intimacy. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Cause there's sex, right? The yeah, and then ah, there's ah. <laughs> then there's intimacy where it's me and this person connecting. Yeah, and I'm speaking polygamy, and you're like no, mm-hmm. and I'm speaking orgies, you're like no. Mm-hmm. It sounds like you like connecting with your person. Yeah, <laughs> you're an intimate person. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, what do you do with your money? I take care of home. What does that mean? Um, I'm a breadwinner. Okay. Yes. Is your mom, you said your mom's a receptionist. Yes, a receptionist. Okay. I'm a, a breadwinner. I take care of home. I take care of my siblings. Yeah. Um, I'm building a home for my siblings at Eastern Cape. See, obviously. That's dope. Why the Eastern Cape? Mm? Why the Eastern Cape? Because they married Elo Eastern Cape. My mom is married at Eastern Cape. Oh, yeah, but my okay. siblings are born there. So when they your go si- for your holidays, your siblings are from one father. Yes. Who's a close yes. Okay. So now it's like uh maybe Vagash Bavagashela Kubo ka 
kebab. Yeah. Yeah, but kebab. Okay. So I was like. Hey, it's a small space. Let me sure. just build a home for my siblings. That's dope. You don't even need to do that's not your fault. Is that's your stepfather? Yeah, that's oh, my stepfather. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I was like, ah, I was thinking this society, let's build na na because sure. I also want to visit something fun and relax. So yeah. Okay. Same ideal. And then Congrats to you. Thank Your you. Your grandparents are still alive? Yeah, they're still alive. And they now know the work you do. Yeah, fully. by us. How by do us. they feel? Um, it was a shock, obviously, but And they weren't told by you. Mm, no, but your Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my That's mama. that's better than Nukokes or Sonto and Hey. Yeah. Hi. That's a Sizui Tori now. My mom was like, uh, and my dad was like, uh, we'll take care of this. Okay, maybe let's start with your mom and your stepdad. Mm -hmm. uh, how did they find out and how did they feel? No, I think there was, um, you know, it just when it was still on OnlyFans. Yeah. Like, did you tell her or did people no, tell her? No, and then, I think from the jail, I think we were for holidays. For holidays. Okay. And then Uma is on socials, but uh, I got Kulumi, who is buying Jilla Pan. Sure. Most old people are like that. <laughs> hey, Pen is one in the video. I'll get go Uma, away. get Uma, ma, until I can block you. <laughs> <laughs> I got Funugush. So um, she told me about this. I'm going to know. She knows. She sure. told me about this um, uh, generation scene where this girl was uh, doing a video call online with yeah. this guy. I'm going to, mm mm. She's lying. Mm. She wants me to open up. Sure. About so, and then I did. Then she was like, ah. You weren't, you weren't nervous that day? In Gijeluma? Yeah. Yeah, I was nervous. But mm. I knew good things I am there. Okay. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. This was still in Pine Town? I know. I'm saying Buile. I'm just saying Buile. After you started having sex on camera? Yeah. That's us. And then before I actually did hard porno gam yeah. jela ngathi eh hey, ma i want to go this way na and this is more public yeah, well, yeah. so my mom was like yo hmm hmm say that I'm like yeah hey eh. hey eh. okay hmm. so to i said i think my my, my parents Bang ten, but you know, if I yeah. want to do something, like I've really had thought this through. And you, you've been a good child. Yeah, I've you weren't been. a problematic ah, child. Luto. That's very important. Yeah. So they were like, "Ah, are you sure?" Okay, yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. We got your back. And then I call. Um, my 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 dad called me. Yeah. I don't like calling him stepdad because he's the only sure. father I know. He's yeah. been supportive. That nigga loves me to fucking death. That's beautiful. Yeah, well. Shout out to him and shout out to all <laughs> stepfathers, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. So. He called me and he assured me, Uguti, um, Oli, hey, I love you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If anything has some shit to say about you, do wool. Time along and pay. Yeah, do I don't want to hear nonsense yeah. about you. I love you. Yeah. yeah well, I really needed to hear this. As long as you're safe, you thought this through. Yeah. If you, you're tired, you want to go back home. You you sure. so so I kill a vele so I kill a vele you can come through and don't ever feel like you need to do this because we'll because we'll help where we can yeah we'll help that's and dope. they do yeah well. that's dope sometimes I'd want to send money Eka and they'd be like ah hi how will we pay how how pumu too much black tax but it's <laughs> too much no take some back yo I remember that's and, dope uh, yo I almost cried I'm like yeah I too how pumu Enjoy your money. How? Oh, uh. That's beautiful. Hey? Yeah. So I was like, no, that would actually make you emotional. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. So you like so pools, like so pools, and then then. So yeah, it was basically when I started having money, I mm -hmm. was just like, ah, let me take care of home because I had some stuff that I wanted to change. Eka, yeah. Yeah. Uh, iki, she extend yeah. roofing, ceiling, and which is what every good child. So yeah. wants to do at home. 
Abang funa make make figure kanga as keep your phone in in shy vid. Sure. Hey guys, I'm at home. Yeah, only one decent. No, I didn't want that. No go go sofa, expensive shit. Yeah. Yeah. So that was my situation with no ngifuna kha kube rights. Yonke into nje ibe rights. Thank you for that. Um have your grandparents ever spoken to you about your work? I know, but I no, 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 but I challenge you. sex. Yeah, so it's it's like that. Um, do you do anything else with your money? Um, do you look into things like investing, building, yeah. or? Do you like soft things like a whole lot of other girls? You like soft things, spoiling yourself. Ooh, I love this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember this other time I was like, yo, I, I, I'm tired. Because Imali Apele, you know? Sure. And Angfuni Pele, Nginga Bonangu Tinginzein. Of course. So I'm just like, eh. Oh, she said, I want to work in Gitsi. Yes, man. Gitsi. Let them know. I'm a working girl. Gitsi Gucci. But yeah. Um, I, I love soft things. I, yeah. uh, like I, I think I've read into that because s- sometimes, um, banging I a little bit, and okay. it's mainly because I was focusing on building and other important Wh- stuff. Why didn't you like it at the time? Even thing it because I was I was responsible of so many things at okay. home. Being is in training, yeah, but so I couldn't just spend money on some that's dope. Uh, Gucci sneakers or whatever. Yeah. So I had to like, hey, fagu case if I'm saying also for sure. I'm saying I'm a plan with oh, saying ceiling, I bo kuningi, yeah, So I think I made a space where I'm just like, let me work some more. Yeah. He makes uh make enough money, but now again there's never enough money. Yeah. You know? I tried investing here and there, building businesses, blah blah blah. Sure. Ooh, flop. And everyone's just like, hey, I hope you're investing. I hope you're investing. Is tough, eh? Yeah, it's very really tough. tough. And s- some people are like, I hope you are investing, you know, just telling us I'm Your business is tough. It could be us. So business is tough but I'm also learning how to manage my finances yeah yeah well since I have less responsibility now sure uh back home like to actually manage save invest yeah. Yeah. it's still a learning curve for me yeah but I'm getting there have you considered um investing in the business you're in in the sense we've got record labels we've got talent agencies for acting if you can be like I want to look after young girls and build them. Like, not really be a pimp, but yeah. <laughs> be their manager. Would you look, do this, don't do this. Australia pants, you want to have sex? I don't think you're ready. Mm-hmm. I don't think you are. I'm actually looking into that. Because... And, manage, and manage specifically younger girls than you yeah. who want to go into the industry and school them and make sure they send money home. Yeah, but you was have you yeah, considered uh, that? Yeah, I've considered that and I'm working on it. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty dope. I don't like rushing things. Sure. Yeah. You spoke about that you've had sex with three guys on camera. Mm-hmm. Um, one of the concerns people have with sex work is diseases. And already once you said that to me, it's like, I don't even know if it's worth a conversation because the average girl out there who's not on camera, how many guys has she slept with? Yeah, well. So if she's going to be like, what about diseases? You're like, oh, it's only been three guys. How yeah. many guys have you slept with? And what about diseases? Um, but maybe I'll ask it in this sense. Um, number one, do you do work outside camera? Because um, there's pro- porn- pornography, yes. pictures, videos. Yeah. Um, there's sex work, which I think strippers are in that. And then I think there's prostitution, where you're sleeping with people for money. So we can. I just want to ask... Your thoughts around prostitution and diseases and maybe what you've heard, how people protect themselves from those things. Um, Mina, I always tell girls, Nan, if like they, they, they do hookups, Nan, Nan, they yeah. always have to be safe. Sure. Yeah, but this guy wants to include the issue. 
the guy wants you. Yeah. So everything it's on your tab. Sure. You say how much. You say Uguti, are you comfortable with one, two, three, four, five? Sure. He doesn't get to say anything. Sure. If he has a problem with that, he, he should bounce. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well, he shouldn't be like uh, a guy who say two fifty saying as two fifty, and they're like ah, uh, me nang charge you three hundred, and then he's like ah, but you know two fifty. Okay, he must go. Sure. Don't be like, don't settle. Don't be like, uh, okay. And that normally comes with desperation. Sadly. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. And people can smell desperation and yeah. they use that shit sure. to their advantage. Yeah. So it's it, it's that education, uh, like, okay, we're going to use a condom. Don't be scared to like, hey, no, Abba Fana will come to you and say, all right, let's go test. No, yes, we'll test sure. and do whatever, but sure. we'll use protection. Yeah. yeah well, the same I, way you do in any other hookup in yeah, any well, other so relationship. It's like that. So it's just like, ah. Uh, how do you feel about girls that are sex workers, but they pretend like they're not? Some of these alleged, some of these celebrity women, a lot of other fly hot girls on Instagram, guys are paying them. But mm -hmm. out there in the streets, they're judging people like you. But they're doing the same thing. And they're like, no, he didn't pay me. He just paid my rent. No, he's not paying me. It's not like I'm a prostitute, but he... Uh, how do you feel about those girls? No, it's wrong. Why are you judging? Mm. It's not too early. Yeah, but mm. just... Do it. you wish they were more open? No, or do you I, understand why they... No, I think I understand why they... But now you shouldn't go out there. Sure. You, you can't hide so much. Sure. Yeah. 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 Queen, so, queen of morality. morality. Yeah. So, so I mean, I'm all about people doing themselves. Yeah. Sure. So do whatever you have to do to eat, to take care of yourself and sure. whoever you love. Just don't go around judging people yeah. who are basically doing the same thing that you're doing, yeah. just on the open. Yeah. Would you like the industry to grow? Understanding that if the industry grows locally, um, it means you have more competition, number one. And number two, <laughs> you were speaking about your younger sister. Kim Kardashian had a sex tape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, I'll speak about Kim just now. Um, and now uh, North is on TikTok and Kanye had a huge issue about that. So if the industry grows, you might be like, I'm trying to protect my little sister. Mm -hmm. But if there are more girls now, doing what you do, there's a higher chance of her being influenced maybe even earlier than you'd like it to be. Would you like the industry to grow? Uh, the, and do you worry the about the potential? Adult industry. Yeah. yeah, I want it to grow. Why? I want it to grow because there are so many people who want to get in yeah. this industry. But now, again, this country doesn't have... Um, uh, productions for all that entertainment. Sure. Yeah, well, is sex work illegal here? Do uh, you know? Hmm? Is it illegal in this country? This is prostitution country. illegal? Prostitution is illegal. Like South Africa? I was. No, I don't know. Okay. Sorry, please carry on. So people should just... Cut the conversation. Sorry. <laughs> you were saying within the adult industry, there, there isn't space for yeah, adult Yeah, there isn't space. People don't know where to go. They don't know the... J. Google. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I'd wish that there, there were more spaces yeah. where people can just go and inquire. Sure. Yeah. Well, and say, hey, I want to do this. I want to be an actor. I want to yeah. I wanna shoot this content. Sure. Where should I go? And then, then. That opens up a gap for you. And I think that's where, depending on how well your team is, you could make a lot of money. You'll yeah. film the girls, manage their pages, and, and, and. Yeah. And we, we are in the process of doing that. Yeah. Just, I think, again, I want to buy lab. Sure. Yeah, well, they like the, um, this thing. We say, I want to work, I want to work. But when it's time to work. Accept change. Accept change. Accept and especially what's all 5,000, 10,000, we will relax. And you're like, <laughs> no, we need to work. Yeah, well, we need to make more. Yeah. Yeah, well. Kim Kardashian released a, well, released a sex tape. A sex tape was released. Um, Inganya Lawrence Fishburne, who was Morpheus in The Matrix, Montana Fishburne, did a sex tape as well. And she did it inspired by Kim Kardashian because she was trying to break into entertainment. And she was like, well, if Kim could do it, I can do it. And she ended up losing her relationship with her father. 
and she's tried to do other things as well and i don't think it's really worked you know and i was going to raise this earlier but i'm mm. i'm so glad that your dad um has been so supportive and that your relationship hasn't been strained because i maybe your story is unique and it would be nice once we get more stories of kids that are going to be like my family wrote me off mm. ikai was on kulmi see um you know to understand the other side because that also happens and it's one of the concerns because other girls will be like oh, i want to be like ukoli and you're like just be careful because yeah. well, our situations again. are not the same your yeah. boyfriend is not going to be like mine mm-hmm. um he might end up beating you as an example um mm, yeah. you maybe lack self control uso toli mal and you won't build at home you want to mm. do dumb things um you won't be able to manage yourself um and i think i'll touch on this when you're going to hook up you might take certain things and also kumbuni what kwenza galeni yeah um and then yeah, you you'll lose your family and your loved ones and who knows so just be very careful and i think it's important that we do have these conversations because there are probably girls who have been in similar spaces yeah who have so many regrets and they listen to you and they're like why couldn't this girl have come 5 10 years before i started because i would have moved differently mm. and now i've got so many regrets and scars and pain and maybe i even have diseases that i'll never lose yeah because i wasn't thinking you know what i mean yeah it was her montana fishburn and then oh no the other one was not important i wanted to speak about dr trace daughter but she's old and she's not a she's not in the industry it's just her mm. father wasn't providing for her oh, okay. when she was seeing flames i dated a lady once and um in the way our relationship became toxic mm-hmm. and there was cheating on both sides i found myself asking the question of why do men in particular get so touched with cheating why am i fine with other men hugging my woman other men shaking my woman's hand other men kissing my woman on the cheeks um maybe she can go to a day spa and i'm a daughter pizza massage her yes. she can go to a male gynae and he opens a vagina and he f- checks mm-hmm. things why am i fine with all of that but not with and worse this is a woman who's not a virgin so she slept with men before and she might sleep with men after me mm-hmm. why am i so uncomfortable and in that thought i find myself trying to begin understanding uh maybe sex workers in the sense that we have a body and when it comes to the money system mm-hmm. we almost prostitute every part of our body and it's fine more particularly our brain True. you're forced to get to the office on sunday night you're meant to be with your family it's not by choice you're not controlling that because your boss needs this thing yeah. and that's fine yes you're a medical doctor or you're a surgeon you use your hands you're prostituting your hands you control the price the rate etc and you need to be there other people are athletes so your your whole body you have True. to exert yourself but we've isolated the penis the vagina <laughs> to be like no these ones Mm-mm. are off limits and then everyone's morality is like no these ones are the ones where if someone works with these ones it doesn't matter if she says no i pick my clients i pick mm-hmm. my rate i take care of it i need to not to tell i'm not infected hands now me i'm not infected yeah well. but these ones are for some reason and for some reason i don't know hey i don't know why is that do you think like that as well Oguti. Oguti, the vagina the penis are just body parts and maybe we overhype them when we shouldn't because they are they can be potential tools of trade like your hands or your brain or your legs if you are a runner yeah if if it works if you want something to work for you it works for you do you think more of us should be open not desensitize but remove this thing from our private parts I know. I think it's not because uh, uh, God they are girl. Yeah. yeah well, even we before we got here, not so mm. it's been there. It's still gonna go on. Sure. Yeah. Well, now, Cole, now we see where the people are stigmatizing sex, sex work. Yeah. It works for sex work, well. Sure. Yeah. Well. But it's just a career, like anything else. Yeah, it is a career. And we should be changing mindsets. So, if you're willing to work with your body. The private so parts are just not? a part of it. Just take yeah, care of them yeah. like every other thing. So why not? If I want to insure my vagina, let me insure it. Cuz in Kandilima Ali. Yeah, well. <laughs> um Do you believe in gender equality? I I feel in your industry 
you guys don't give a fuck about men. No one gives a fuck about paying <laughs> to see a dick. And you're like, you and women make the money. Um, gender equality, I'm not sure, but I believe in in, in people knowing their space. Yeah. Yeah. In a in a certain space, not court. Sure. Yeah, well, in my industry, men pay. Yeah, well, I can't go on and say, hey, men are shit, men are this, yeah. men are that. These are the same people who pay to. Uh, but if I create an OnlyFans account, I'm not going to have as many followers as you because people don't want to see naked men. No, that's the thing. If you open an OnlyFans account. Yeah. Uh, Especially people, as a straight man. Maybe, maybe if I was gay, gay men might pay. People want to watch you fuck. Yeah. Beautiful, sexy woman. That's sure. it. Google and I would say, do you have game or not? Do you have sexy women? But it's still the woman. It's not me. Yeah, but long as it's on your page, you have a letter on your page. It depends on your game. It depends on your game. It depends on your game. What are you fair? I mean, girls are not going to DM me looking to pay me for a hookup. I mean, are you fair? Ah, you'd want that. Should we not? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if guys were to be, you know, no who's um Ibanyana Banyana and no EFF for standing in their corner. Banyana Banyana deserves to be paid as much as Bafana Bafana. And my argument was just if you guys are gonna watch their games, if women are gonna go to the stadium and watch Banyana mm-hmm. Banyana, they will earn the money. They said the same with LeBron James and whoever's good in the WNPA. And I'm like, but if you can get the crowd. And I'm like, you guys never ask these questions of why is Kim Kardashian the highest paid reality star and not this guy? Because no one wants to watch men. Why are these women in these spaces getting paid female influencers? Get way more than the male ones. I know. Sex. Is it just something we must accept? Uh, sex appeal. Once we, once we get in the streets, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Why gender inequality? <laughs> I know there are successful uh, male porn stars. They're not gay. Uh, okay. They're not. They are successful gay. They are successful trans. Yeah. Everyone has um, enough pie to eat. Sure. Yeah. Well, so it's not to be uh, because you're straight. It's not working out on your OnlyFans. Nan, sure. nan. You need to read the room. What's going to work? And you work on that. Thank you. Your your life post sex work, assuming assuming that this is a sport and in sports people retire. Mm. Is there a life post this where you start becoming a coach, manager? Do you want to be a sex worker? Do you want to be a MILF? A MILF. No, I don't think so. I think I, I want to be more behind the scene, vulnerable coach, director, producer. Sure. So you, you're yeah. beginning to plan your life post this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But in the same space? Yeah, in the same space. Um, International? Views on going international? Um. Yes, yeah, so I'm still talking to other content creators. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Bangali, still trying to get our visas, you know. Sure. Salungisa. So, yeah. And then any other, I mean, you wanted to be an actress and a musician. Mm-hmm. Do you think that dream is still there somewhere? Yeah, it's still there, Sham. Yeah. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, what do you do? Sure. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. So you're open to DJs and these guys, please feature me, whether as a vocalist or just in the video, I've got reach. Uh, I've... um. I have reached out to a few artists, Balai yeah. and they've bang pendulil. I'm like, hey, get me on the music video. Sure. Money, Kali. Sure. Or Let me just send you my record, Sebenze, because I I want to work. Yeah. Because hey, you need to use whatever that you have. Yeah. yeah well, to. Emma. Thank you so much. I I was nervous about this conversation. <laughs> um. But I'm glad you're so amazing, man, and I appreciate you. Yeah, bon. Um I've got, uh, I'm split on the industry on whether I support it or not. Um, I was a young guy <laughs> that was masturbating, but I worry about the society that has become hypersexualized mm. and where sex has almost been used as a weapon to, to distract, especially from moving ahead. You look at 
Indian Muslims, you look at the Jews, a lot of them, they tend to be conservative. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, their groups are successful. So you start wondering, are we hypersexualized and is that good? And then I worry about you guys and, and your safety, you know, because I, I worry about the psychology of the men that number one, pay for sex, the men that are constantly watching this type of content, are they normal, stable guys? <laughs> but for the fact that you're leading, you're open, you're honest, um, you have a brain, you know, I'd, it would it would be sad sitting with you and you realize hey, I think Losis is high. <laughs> I'm like, this is why kids shouldn't do this. Mm. But you're actually like owning what you're doing. And you're like, guys, some of you are doctors, some of you are athletes, ah, oh, well done, <laughs> well done. <laughs> Some of you are politicians. Yeah. Uh, I'm a sex worker. So what I do, I own it. Um, it's my body. Uh, I get to dictate which parts of my body are for rent mm -hmm. at, at what level, for what price, and to whom. Yes. And that is so powerful. And I, I think this conversation was very important for that. I don't know if there's anything else you want to say before we shut down. I don't Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's dope. Looking forward to getting to know you better and seeing some of the work that you want to be doing. Okay. Thank you. Cheers.